YouTube, what is going on? How y'all doing today? So today, I'm gonna do another spy tricks video because those seem to be doing very well right now. And you know me, I never run out of cool spy tricks to show you guys. So um, here's a few more that I hope you like. Let's do it. Okay, so the first trick involves a disposable camera with a flash. So what we're gonna do for this is just rip it apart and take out the flash circuit. So we are left with this. And now after discharging the capacitor, all we need to do is solder on two wires to the capacitor on the circuit board. So you're left with something like this. And go ahead and test it out just to make sure it works. So basically, just uh, push down on this lever right here to charge the circuit. And then touch the two wires together and uh, you should see a spark jump between them. So if you've seen my other spy hack videos, you might be thinking this is looking pretty familiar. But here's where it gets different. What we're going to do next is actually take off the capacitor from the circuit board. So now we're left with the disattached capacitor. And the cool thing about this is this is all we actually need to store the electricity. So my plan is to put this inside of an ordinary Sharpie marker. So first just remove the back part, just like that. And your Sharpie will have a lot of ink in here. Uh, I already cleaned mine out. But uh, you don't actually have to clean it out if you don't want. If you want to make this uh, still a usable marker, all you have to do is just cut down on the ink cartridge. So maybe take off like about an inch. Um, we're just making room for the capacitor. And if you don't want the ink to leak out and get everywhere, a super helpful tip uh, for kind of sealing off the end is to use a lighter and uh, just go over the end. And it'll basically just melt the plastic just enough uh, to keep everything sealed in. And now we can just go pop it back into our highlighter shell, just like that.
Alright, now the last step is to put the capacitor attached to the end back into our marker. Just like that, our super secret shock pen is now complete. Um, one other thing I did do is actually add some solder over top of the aluminum foil. Uh, this just basically makes a better connection and uh, allows the capacitor to charge and discharge a little bit easier. So once we've had this made, how do we actually get the power into the pen? Well, here's how. Um, so what I did was I basically hooked up some alligator clips to the camera circuit. And the alligator clips are attached to the wires that we soldered earlier um, that was originally attached to where the capacitor went. And if you'll notice right here, I've drawn a silver mark and also on the marker and I also outlined half of the ring in silver as well. And this is just to let me know which uh, prong goes where. Um, so I just hook this up like that. So just again, hook it up like that. And um, as you can see, I also put a little bit of hot glue uh, on the backs of each alligator clip. And this is to avoid a short circuit of any kind, like an accidental touch. Um, could make a spark that we don't want and we don't want to shock ourselves. So now all we have to do to charge this up is press the switch on the circuit board. And now we are fully charged and this pen is ready to go. So all we have to do is just disconnect the wires. All right, let's go test this thing out. Trust me guys, that would hurt. All right guys, so for this next one, I'm gonna show you how to turn an ordinary number two pencil into a super secret spy hiding place. Let's check it out. So the first thing we wanna do is to remove the eraser part of the pencil. Just pull it on off. Now all we have to do is take a drill bit that is slightly smaller than the pencil diameter and we're gonna go ahead and drill down into the pencil. We're now left with this small area inside the pencil that can be easily covered up with the eraser if we just pop it back on top. So that means we can store small items like very important messages or passwords uh, inside of our pencil. Alright guys, so this next one comes right out of the movies. I think it's a pretty interesting spy trick to know, and um, definitely pretty cool. So right here I have a practice lock. It's basically a regular lock, but uh, it's made out of acrylic so you can see all the pins. Um, this is good for if you're learning how to pick locks and stuff like that. Um, so I'll link this down below if you want to go check it out. But basically we're going to be picking this lock with some ordinary sunglasses. So these are actually some sunglasses I used in my last spy trick video. Um, basically, I put a mirror, um, so this allows you basically just to see what's behind you uh, at all times. But we're going to be repurposing them for yet another cool hack, and that is picking this lock. So all you want to do is just rip apart the glasses and expose the wire inside. So these frames right here are all wire, and actually flat wire too, which is uh, perfect for what we want for picking locks. So all you want to do is break off two pieces, our pick and our tension wrench. So to make the tension wrench, all you want to do is take your wire and at the very tip, just bend around a 90 degree angle. Um, again, don't try and bend it too sharply or else the wire is probably going to snap. Um, yep, just like that. Actually snapped a little bit, but it's all good. Just move down a little bit and bend it a little bit slower. So something like that. As you can see, this fits right into the barrel of our lock. And we're able to apply tension just like that. 
which is exactly what we need. Next, grab your other piece of wire, and uh, we're gonna turn this one into the pick. So grab it between some vice grips, really whatever you have, maybe like between two bars or like using some rocks or something. Uh, but basically, you just wanna put a slight bend in the tip of the wire, just like this. So as you can see, we have an upward curve, which is perfect. Um, this is gonna allow us to get at the pins of the lock and uh, push them into place. So first, let's grab our tension wrench, and we're gonna place it in the base of the lock, and uh, once it's in there, we're gonna add upward pressure. So take your tension wrench and uh, insert it into the top of the lock like this, and start feeling around and pushing up the pins. So what we need to do is push that up above the barrel, and uh, this tension wrench is going to move the barrels ever so slightly um, so that the pins will actually get stuck on the top of the barrel. And when all the pins are actually stuck on the top of the barrel, the lock will open. Every time you hear a click, that means you're doing something right. Um, so I thought this video wouldn't be complete if we didn't have a little bit of fire. So if you've seen any of my previous videos recently, you know I love this stuff. It's flash paper, super flammable paper that basically leaves no trace of anything behind. So I've just got a little piece here, got a lighter. Boom, instantly gone. Um, so I got the idea that this stuff would be perfect for self-destructing a message. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut a piece off. And we're gonna write our message on this. So now we have a message written on paper that can be easily destroyed in less than three seconds. In another video, I'll show you how to make this actually self-destruct, um, so keep an eye out for that. But in an effort to not make this video too long, uh, I'm just gonna be using a lighter. And we can actually combine this with the device we made earlier, our pencil stash. Now when you get the message, open it up, And it says destroy when done with. All you have to do is take your lighter or something like this, anything with sparks really, and just. And just like that, it is 100% gone. That information is completely gone, and you don't have to worry about it anymore. All right, guys, so there's all my spy tips and tricks for today. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Click that like button if you did. And also remember to subscribe to Jay Lazy Video for a lot more cool projects and spy tricks just like these. So that's it for this video, guys. Again, if these keep doing well, I'll keep making more of them. Um, but also let me know in the comments below if there's anything you'd like to see me do in the future. That is it for this video, guys. And I will catch you in the next video.